guys, this is Ashraf. So I'm going to live again. This is Silicon Zeros. So this is a demo version of the Silicon Zeros. It is out now on Steam. And this is the intro um, for the game Silicon Zero. So, from what I heard, that this Silicon Zero is quite similar to Manufactoria. Manufactoria? I'm not sure. So, I think that this game also related with closely related the genre close to um what is it called again uh, infinity factory yes infinity factory and this tis 100 also space cam uh yeah i think space cam so this is demo version one again once again um this is the starting screen now we are in the first chapter or first part of the game about wiring Dana good to see you I am excited to get to work our new Zerocom is the is the company I have dreamed I have dreamed of since I was still in the all country the others are not here yet but let us see what we can do on our own to start why not check to make sure our adder modules are working Connect the module so that the address output is 2. You can click and drag between the rectangular ports to connect modules together. Let's go. So, um, okay. If we are going to hover our mouse over here, we can move this thing around. The number 1, it is number 1. And if we put our mouse on top of this thing, the number here, it will indicate that it is a pen. We can connect to the adder, which is the input, I think. So to start, why not check to make sure our adder modules are working. Connect the modules so that the other adder's output is 2. So let's wait. Can we change that? Nope. We um we can cut that. We can also um yeah. Okay, I think we can yeah we can do two outputs from the output there to the edge mo the module so puzzle complete good a promising start for our work i know you are new but i have great confidence when you took my personality tests i detected an astonishingly high mental temperature a mind well above the ordinary kind i will give you all the time you need for that spark to fully light and when it does, then uh, you will be a beacon for us to follow. Let's go. Now, oh, let's get into puzzle select. So, over here, this is the beginnings. I think this part over here is the chapter. So, this is the um, puzzle part. We have wiring, multi-wiring, placing, config, memory, mem, sum, time, latch, writer. And then we have... Uh, Fox, fog over here, stall, rewrite, space, counter after that, increment, and then validation. So we're going for multi wiring. So, about this game is close to um, the one that I said earlier TIS 100, um, Infinity Factory, and this game is the successor. For manufacturer game that is quite successful but not much of a hype there unlike Infinity Factory. Now multi wiring. Now that we have seen a single adder module now work correctly, let us wire them together in sequence. Connect module so that an adder outputs three. I know I have not fully explained that we are doing here, Dana. 
the time is not yet right for us for my great dream to be revealed in full until then you must trust me that's low now let's get into it what do i have to do is to add wiring from here from here some to um okay like that and another wire to go there and yes very good i can see your spark starting to light then uh, i think i can hear caroline's 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 impala outside she arrived even before you but left to find supplies her work ethic is incredible let us see what she has crunched up let's go um let's go on to the next puzzle so this part over here is placing these modules hello dena and carol leslo hired me to run the fab and uh, the module fabricator the bad news is that we ain't got a fab yet but we but the good news is that i've got a lot of experience with jerry region hardware first test out these adder modules place and connect modules so and add the outputs for oh, don't worry about running out i ain't expecting any shortages for now carol so we have one module here you can zoom out as well right click to pan yeah so go to the puzzle selection this is to exit this button just like the start menu start button and arithmetic module undo reset to the initial delete all okay so arithmetic we have header so we want to have four like that i think that's good to go i'm gonna minimize that we have this and there you go we have another adder there we have four great looks like everything's working not totally sure what we are working toward here but the parts are fine this is pretty nostalgic for me Reminds me of the days I spent playing hooky from school, building radios in my garage. I'm gonna miss this when the module fab is running, though you probably won't, Carol. So, over here the statistic, module, current best idea, idea is 3. Hmm, okay, next puzzle then. Config configuration. The other thing I've got for you is this configuration tool you can use it to tinker with number modules like the one on the left oh so this is the thing the number module okay just right click on them try configuring and connecting modules so that an adder output for arrow so we're going to set it to to three I mean two sorry done and connect at this and that we have four excellent I gotta get back to the module fab so I'll leave you in Laszlo's hands from here those personality tests of his are something else I don't know about you but I wasn't expecting to be grilled about my relationship with my mother when I applied I'm not sure he lives in quite the same reality as we do still he seems nice enough next puzzle the music kind of nice yeah it's nice module so you see now that Caroline 
is an engineer of the highest quality. The job market was unjust to her. So many judged by education, sex, skin tone, or other petty distinctions. That is the genius of my tests. I care only for the temperature of person's mind. For now, would you mind very much showing me that what you have done with Caroline's parts? Press configure and connect modules so that an adder outputs 5. Let's go. So, number 1 adder. Um, we're going to use 2 number and 2 adder. So, this one, I'm going to configure this to output 2. And we're going to have 4 and 5. So, good idea, Alicia. Wonderful. Alicia got in a few moments ago. Another brilliant woman. Undervalued by foolish men. Incredible what talent these companies leave for us to snap up. Though I suppose I should not complain too much. If the market valued you all at what you were truly worth, I would never be able to afford you. And my great dream would be dead before it even began. Ha <laughs> ha. I my best is four, the idea is three. Hmm. Next Now we are on to memory. Hey you're Dana, cool. I'm Alicia. Supposed to be a programmer, but you guys don't seem to have a computer to program on, so I'm working on external memory instead. Storage outside the machine. Hmm. When you plug a number into this reader module, it will spit out. It will spit out the value stored in that memory slot. You can see what's in memory on the far right. Okay. Place, configure and connect modules so that a reader outputs 6 Alicia. So can we configure this? Right click to interact with module. A reader 1 only can rename. Yes, we can rename. Copy all and delete. So we got one module ready. Uh, what's the objective again? So place configure and connect module so that a reader output 6 uh, number we're going to configure to 6 hmm. uh, what again can we configure it directly to there I don't think so When you plug a number into this reader module, it will spit out the value stored in that memory slot. Hmm. How? How? Hmm. Slot over here, location of values in memory, slot 0. I can't. Any other things? Only that. Okay, I think. Oh, yeah, right. So, based on this, the number module, if we output 6, it will return 6 from the memory slot here. So, it accepts memory slot. So, if we are going to use 1, I mean. 0 it will output 1 uh, I mean 9 so if we we need to output 6 from the memory module which is 10 from the number module over here and there we have it puzzle complete glad you got everything working honestly I'm not clear on what we're working toward here but I enjoyed setting this up you might not have noticed I put a personal touch in memory the year I got married, 1960. Hmm. Okay. 
important to start things off on a good note, don't you think, Alicia? Hmm. Next puzzle. Man, Sam, when Leslo ran his tests, he told me I was uncommonly thorough. He also said that I was passionate about his great dream. Odd, since he hasn't told anyone what it is yet, but he was right about the first part. So I set memory up to stress test every module before configuring modules, place and connect modules, so and add the output 7. This one's a little more complex, but even without personality tests, I think I have a feel for you. It's the trickier problems that you're here for. By Alicia. Okay, so over here is our memory table. So we need to output 7. So we have already 3 output here we cannot configure. So memory module um, 6 and 8 we're going to have header we have 5 hmm. and then another header module arithmetic header Mm -hmm. Okay, this is kind of tricky. Hmm. Okay, um, I'm going to add with five. So we got eight. And then we need to output to 7. We will add another arithmetic adder module. So 8. But no. Memory. Read memory. Um, this one go over here. Over here. There you go, direct connection. Um, state memory, we need to use slot number 8 to output 2. So this one goes over here. And then we will have 7. Yay, it took you long enough. No, no, I'm sorry. I'm just joking. You finished at just the right time. Our last man fin finally turned up. He and Carol should be finishing the simulator right about now. So I have, I got the idea module. Next puzzle. Time. Hey, sorry. I know I'm a little late, but it's fine. Check out this demo I just set up for the simulator. You can hit the blue test button at the bottom center the simulator okay it's glowing over here it shows how your machine runs over time which is tracked in takes some modules like latches do something once per take but you don't need to understand those yet i'm not going to let you edit this anyway just run the sim forward until a latch stalls 15 you can run the test backward and forward or even come back later to experiment more. Cool, huh? My friend. Okay, um, let's do our test. The tick limit 4, go forward 1 tick. Uh, I still doesn't I didn't understand a thing so let's do four ticks still don't understand a thing neat isn't it hard to do much with just one steady state now that we have machines that change over time 
we can get into all kinds of trouble. Seems like Laszlo hasn't told any of us what the goal of his company is. All I know is that he has come serious. He has some serious is com- cost money backing him, and used it to hire four top tier engineers. Honestly, I don't really care what he's planning. All that matters to me is it looks like a heck of a ride. Next puzzle. Latch. Pretty complicated setup in that last machine, huh? Laszlo thought it it would make more sense just to let you do it yourself, but I wanted to show off my version first. Here's your chance to do si- to do it simpler. Build a machine that stores 15 in a latch and test it in the simulator. Step module latch latch. Okay. Um. Number. So. Okay. Let's edit to 5 and test. Okay, um, the test over here we only have one tick limit, so basically it means that how many cycles you need to achieve, um, the limit of cycle to achieve your goal. So I need to achieve 15 stored into the latch, so I'm going to edit this to 15 and test tick limit 1 and go forward 1 tick. There, okay, understandable. Nice, I guess my version was a little more elaborate than it needed to be, but what's the fun without messing around, right? I mean, if you can't deal with someone buying a little toy mascot and repeatedly hiding it around your module map, then do I hear? Oh shoot, gotta run, have fun with Carol. Ah, okay, I'm a bit busy playing on this thing. So we are close to 30 minutes by now. Um, writer, sorry this took so long, Dana. I had some uh, unexpected delays, but the writer modules are ready. They write at the start of every tick, candle like latches. Instead of holding values inside, though, they take a slot number as their first input and store the other input into that slot in external memory. Set memory slot number 3 to 1 and then test to see those writers go okay right memory slot this one so set memory slot number 3 to 1 we're going to use two of them this we edit to number um, 1 okay this one into 3 connect that um view memory goal okay this is the initial memory that we have right now and the memory goal you need to store value one so test that take limit is one okay well done this was it the last really basic part now as you got writers ledgers numbers and headers you can build all sorts of useful things i've got to get back to work but you ought to go chat with Laszlo he's got a couple of things he's hoping you work on okay pause the slack okay we um stumble upon this stall rewrite counter and space so let's go on to stall first by Carol, I've been thinking about very simple devices. How few parts could you take to build something that sets memory slots 0 and number 1, number 0 and number 1 both to 1? 
this might be a dead end but it seems like a fun little idea i think we've got time to play around with it at all okay so memory goal is to set slot number zero and one to value one both of slot number zero and one with a value one so this spell doesn't have anything can we set anything nope um instead we have latch we have arithmetic which is number itself uh, how many ticks we have three ticks sets memory slots zero and number one to both one we cannot have more of those Okay. Um how okay Okay, let's test this thing out. Um I just got this idea so Basically, give the number one to write number one with the slot zero. Um, I don't know. It's just that I just thought of this thing right away. Uh, from the number one to store number one to store, which is zero. Um, latch basically like a delay. Um, with this number one, we we add another wire to write which is input value and one so it will receive one one thing i mean okay for example that like if we doesn't use didn't use latch it will store one but it will output zero but for example oh god i don't know how to explain this um <sighs> okay so basically memory slot it needs an input so to refer which slot we are referring to so with with this thing over here if we add more of this we will already out of the league and out of our objective doesn't we won't meet our goal so I'm going to add to use one over here in hoping that on the current value which is zero which is one I'm sorry which is one will be stored onto the latch while the one that is stored previously is zero will be used as the memory slot memory address and then at the same time with the num one um, one val value one will be output directly to the writer one over here which is to the input channel here so uh, let's just try anyway um yeah um really uh, okay yeah great a little delay in device like this might Mightn't be useful right now, but who knows? Maybe someday it will. Thanks for humoring me, my Carol. What's the slack? Now rewrite. <sighs> okay, rewrite. One last piece of work for the external memory. We need to test its durability. Really hammer it with repeated writes to the same memory slot. Without configuring modules, get memory slot number one all the way up to eight. That write should be enough to prove memory works. All that it doesn't. By Alicia. So currently the slot one we have zero. The goal is eight. So we only use one slot. Um, one. Uh, okay, wait. Eden, Eden, a number to be added to the other input. Organ, a number to be added to the other input. 
Ok um, Let's test this anyway um, From what I Understand It might add both of these two Let's test it and map right away So tick limit is 8 And then number to be added to the other input Added to the another input Four cycle number five. No, it doesn't do a thing. Okay, um, basically, we need to really use the right read over here. What else? Wait, um, without configuring the modules, get memory slot number 1 all the way up to 8. Memory slot number 1, can we configure this? Nope, this is an adder. Okay, that is an adder. Right, read and write. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, let's try memory slot 1 uh, Sum into the right memory value Can we configure this? Nope So let's test this Okay, um, this is weird um, Let's try, okay Repeated writes to the same memory slot. Okay, this is the writer. This is the reader Let's try with this and Delete that Let's hope that I am right over here Anything? Okay, um, okay, let's try to change this. I'm not sure what this is an adder. Um, we only have one arithmetic, which is the number read and write. Uh, have three modules I'm not sure what do I do with this or I add another arithmetic module um, no I don't have anything man I'm sucks Without configuring modules, get memory slot number 1 all the way up to 8 How? Hmm Okay, let's test this. Still value 2. Okay, um I think I have an idea I'm going to change this into 4 but I cannot um anything read Um, memory slot 1 Into the memory slot 
uh, memory slot there zero let's test this hmm okay um hmm. how let me think let me think Ah, okay. Um, okay, I think I understand how it works. So basically, um, right now, the current memory, we need to read from the memory, which is slot zero. So take it at, take it is that um, this initial memory is our variable current variable so we set to one I'm gonna delete this there you go this goes to there and number on top here okay and there you go so we can only use one as our value output from this and then we use a reader to read from the initial memory which we have currently zero value over here we need to have goal of eight and then we use the same number to our adder over here and then it will sum as one for example what zero plus one we will sum that as one so we need to save into the same memory slot which is number one and to write one so we go test and we have one as our value over there and then we read again one over here with and then it will output from the memory with the reader as one one plus one equals two and so on there nothing melted down so we're done working with memory plus the mainframes come in so i can finally start programming the job i came here to do you know there's not a lot of places i got respect they say programming that's unskilled women's work zero comes different that's lost met a place where i can work and feel like a human being so whatever he's planning i'll pay him and you back with the best programming I've got in me by Alicia Pasal Slack so we've completed stall rewrite and we have space and counter so I'm going to do space before we are moving on after the counter which is increment and validation now uh. Best. Carol has given me some good news and some bad news. The good news is that she has a new part ready, a subtractor module. The bad news is that she is having trouble keeping up with your use of adder and number modules. I wonder if we can substitute those parts away. Do you think you can build a machine that doubles the value in memory slot 0 without them? Okay, um, I think we only have subtractor and the bad news is that she is having trouble keeping up with your use of adder and number modules. Basically, I um, abuse with the adder and number modules. We only have subtract. Um, the goal memory is to have 86. Okay, um, we only have one tick limit. State memory, read, write, and latch. Minus and subtract. My new end. Sub, subtract end. Okay, uh, whatever. Um, we read. 
uh, we read from zero uh, one of latch okay we use latch value and right the goal is 48 so um, we only have some tractor module <sighs> We are 45 minutes now streaming. Okay. Okay. Uh, if we change our initial memory over here, the value here is also changed. Let's test one tick. And edit them. Um, man. Memory slot. Right, uh, we don't have any addition. Forty three, really? Is that correct? The memory now is forty three as well. Hmm. Can we store another one again? Forty three. memory slot 43 uh, we can't I'm getting confused okay reset latch write and read and subtract now we need to double that double all of these values so for example like this is the goal we need to have goal 8 but we our value that we have right now is 4 okay um to solve no memory slot we're going to use this latch that we have four and then another latch no no need memory is memory slot zero oh. hmm That no, no. Nope. Okay, let's try this. I think I'm going to copy this. Um, let's add another of this um, ledge and we can put four. 
and test right away what are the outputs and it is 4 only 4 if it is 0 it will have 0 as output um, how minus 4 ah yes 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 okay um now i know okay since we're going to use latch we only have latch which doesn't have any input to store what will be stored on the next for the next tick which is over here so we don't have any input it will store one i mean zero over here so basically um uh, we read from memory 0 with to output 4 we use the subtract over here um, as 4 if 0 the difference is 4 so basically 0 minus 4 is equals to my negative 4 so I'm going to add another one subtract we use negative 4 and another from the current memory value we got 8 see that and then we're going to um, we're going to store into the memory to memory um, where's the right right there we're going to store into memory slot 0 like that uh, yes I need to okay um like that Mm, I don't think I need this to memory zero. There and there we have it. Now time to test and play. Eighteen. Ah, okay. Great. Uh, sorry for button in, but Laszlo told me what you were doing, and I just had to take a look. Quite a thing you've cobbled together, huh? I'm a fan. The weirder the design, the better. As long as it works, Carol, puzzle select. So, okay, we got that thing. Now we're going to counter. Counter, this device, I think, will be a cornerstone of what we do at zero count. It shows set memory slot number 0 to 0, number 1 to 1, and so on. Alicia has set up the memory to display the correct output. Just select view memory goal in the bottom right to see it or mouse over, mouse over values in memory. Once this is done, I think I will finally be ready to explain Xerocom's purpose. This is the last piece we need by Lazlo. Okay, um... What do we have? Arithmetic, we have number and adder. State is latch. Go 1, 2, 3, up to 7. Okay, number, number 1, adder. And we have latch. Okay, um. We don't have counter? one into here zero into here we write one wait 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 initial memory slot and the number let's test this first Mm-hmm, okay. Let's get back to edit. Uh, we are stuck. We are stuck, yes, we are stuck. Let's change to zero. We have edit and latch.
and let's test this right away nothing's happening out of time hmm how if negative one we don't have one we don't have anything hold on hold on um how about I'm going to add another number module which is one that's our addition um, over here nope um, I gotta say that guys, um, this thing, this game, kind of mind boggling right now. I got my mind boggled right now on how to achieve the counter. Um, this is quite close to Infinity Factory as well. You are given limited set of hardware and you got to solve with the output. Let's try. Okay, um, I think I got this sorted already and delete this, delete that. Now, the sum is this, this, um, this, I think I'm going to set to zero. Can I? No, I need to have another one. Um, okay, let's test this. Okay, okay, okay. I think I know. Let's try this. Ledge will be over here. Um, cut this wire. Memory slot and the sub will be dead. Store zero. And then we add another number and add the uh, can I really do this? Hmm. Nope, nothing's happening.
Hmm. Okay, let's reset and do it once more. Number adder, and we got only latch. Zero, one, some. Even though it is a demo version, but yeah, mind boggling. I don't know how to solve this for now. Hmm. It's been one hour since I played this. I mean, stream. Let's try. What if I add another latch over here? Uh -huh. Let's test. Okay, um, the initial counter is good, but The memory slot. How? Okay, um, let's try this. No, uh, I think I'm going to spam more adders because I don't have any read, read memory. Can I do that? What if the second sum is to be stored over here? Okay, um Okay, okay. Uh basically we need to have second add the module. Man, this is complicated. Hmm. 
let's play this uh, what happened instead instead of counter module counter i constructed a multiplication a power module hmm. Let's test. <laughs> Everything's unknown, huh? Um, more like corrupted. Edit and undo. Oh, okay. Um. Okay, we need to do this step by step. Okay, this is correct. But this part already 3. And 3 will be stored which is the memory number 3. But uh, how? What if we connect this number module over here and we test it okay basically we don't need the second adder we need something like this do i need a latch Let's make this thing simple a little bit. Um, there. Test. Nope. Um, what if both? And test it right away. Yes. We got it. Okay, so basically, we have one input to store one, which is stored one over here. Um, because we want to have a starting of zero values stored into the memory so with one um, we will be keeping one over here and then it will append with the previous one we will add with the another one which is stored over here as well so it will skip summing up and up and so on I hope I am right Uh, out of time okay um, I think I do not need this sledge number 3 over here more like I can just directly over there so basically this module here the one highlighted over here is our loop and this one will be our no uh, this one is our loop which is this wire here will be our loop and this is our variable and this is our increment yes our increment loop yeah like that and let's test this right away
Okay, now that you have built this, then I am convinced. You are the one who will build my dream. Zerocom has wanted to create a computer, not a room-sized monster. But some, but one small enough for the home, cheap enough for every family to own. Our mini computer could change the world. Put all human knowledge at every man's fingertips. Level society, abolish inequality. Render work a luxury. Is that not worth looking for? Let's do. So I met the ideal requirement. Let's go on to the puzzle selects. We have validation and increment. Let's go to increment first. Since I have two more puzzles left, I'm going to finish this live stream by completing up until validation. So increment. Here is the first application of your counter, a device that goes through memory starting at slot 0 and sets each slot to its original value plus 1. Hmm. It is designed as industrial applications. It should be enough to provide some revenue, which sadly we need if Zerocom is to fulfill its purpose. This will be the most complex machine you've made yet. But I chose you for this group for a reason, then uh, I am excited to see what you make. Now, okay, our initial memory is this, okay, we need to, okay, Um. basically we need to call in all of these slots, the, the current slots in this variable here. And the memory address here, slot 0 is 1, slot 1 is 0, and then add everything by 1, increase by 1 each one of them. So let's get started. We got nothing. We have number. Add there. Um, what else? Read, write, and latch. Okay. Ah. I think I'm going to need to more another adder and then another number no no need I'm going to just use one so latch uh, latch will be as a memory slot zero we're going to read from memory slot zero which is 15 yes 15 add 1 do we really need 2 adders? I don't think so ok on second thought we really do need 1 And we loop that just like on the counter earlier. Okay. At 116. And then like that. Yes, yes. Okay. Okay. We're going to write that. 16 to there and another one I hope that I am right let's test this right away yay puzzle complete this is the end of the demo the full game has many more puzzles the more more modules more mechanics and more story Who's that guy on the left? But hopefully this was enough for you to figure out if you're interested. Thanks for playing and see you in the full version. Let's get back to the puzzle select. Uh, can we go to validation? So yeah, validation. Yo, I've been working on a validation system and I want you to break it. Look, right? 
you'll see test at the top of memory okay you can mouse over values or use the bottom right button to view the code enter the sim and you might see a validation screen flash by that's us running tests we run every test every time and show you the first one your machine doesn't succeed at build machine that beats the first two tests but not the third okay the third one <sighs> okay arithmetic number and adder we've been abusing a lot of adders and numbers we have read and we have write mm -hmm. so our goal is to add them by two but ah Okay, um, so initial value 1, 2, and 3. Goal is 2, goal is 4. So basically, okay, like that, but we need another one. I think we need two adders. correct no um okay i think i think like this we multiply them we read the memory twice and then like that let's test this Running all test test number three six. Build a machine that beats the first two tests, but not the third. Hey, I know might have made a bad impression earlier. I already said sorry to Carol for all the messing around, but I thought I should say something to you. To me, must work intellectual work is pretty easy. It sounds nice, but it gets boring fast. Sometimes boring enough that I start causing trouble. Sorry. That's why I'm here though, but if there's anything I can find a real challenge, it's at zero calm. Trying to keep up with you and the others. So, yeah, I... Complete everything, the beginnings, wiring and everything and this is the end of the demo only have one which is the beginnings profile my profile option, full screen window, bordered, borderless, nothing extra which is the is this in the 60s in the heart of California Santa, Santa Clara Valley one day they'll all call Silicon Valley inside the world, but right now it's just us, zero home. Everything's rejected straight out of school. I wasn't having a lot of luck finding work when Laszlo offered me a job, new company, I jumped at it. I still have no idea what to expect, but this time, time to get started. So this is the beginning, so it's sort of like the story of, um, I think, um like the the story called Paris of the Silicon Valley I think which is story about Bill Gates and Steve Jobs fighting each other over their intellectual property. So yeah it was back in the sixties um not much of a computer chip that time so I had a bit of fun playing this game. I'm not sure if I am going to buy this game worth around close to about 
ten dollars, ten US dollars, but I kind of enjoyed the thing, although my head kind of hurts right now. So I think I'm going to end this live session over the zero silicon zeros demo game here. So once again, this game is close to um, TIS 100 Space Cam and Infinity Factory and this is a successor of um, Manufactoria game um, made by the same developer I think um, this game I mean yeah this game the demo version is available online at their main website I'm going to put that in the description below um, yeah, Asraf signing out. Thank you for watching this lengthy video, one hour and twenty minutes roughly. Um, although it is live, it's meant to be quite that low, right? Live view of me playing the game. This is my first time of playing this game. I have no experience, no previous experience of this game. So, yeah, do check my other video as well check my channel videos subscribe to my channel pretty please do like this video if you like it dislike if you don't like it check my patreon video page as well over there and yeah asraf signing out thank you for watching